Well, we're safely back on the ground um, out of Sarasota Brinkton Airport. Excellent flight this morning, doing a few maneuvers uh, using 655 Papa Delta, a Cessna Skyhawk 172. Uh, sorry that we had no capability of videotaping the flight this morning because uh, we're still waiting for our three GoPros uh, to put in the cockpit and possibly one outside the aircraft. Uh, this uh, video coming up is a quick sample of what we do called a walkthrough. Uh, safety walkthrough, check walkthrough, and we do this prior to the flight. So hopefully you enjoy and check it out. Hey folks, it's Phil here. Today is Wednesday, the 24th of March, 2021. I'm actually driving right now to Sarasota Bradington Airport, uh, Class C, Class Charlie, as we get ready to begin our flying adventures after completing my FAA written exam, I uh, am able to hop in the plane without any worries of, oh geez, what's on the test, and just concentrate on flying. Uh, that is my new home, Sarasota Brampton Airport, and we're flying in Universal Flight Services, uh, FAO, and uh, take a look at all the jets out in the uh, tarmac there, some golf trains, and some Cessna citation. As you see, a default the South uh, Falcon. So quite a few uh, birds out there. So we uh, uh, see what uh, takes shape and uh, have some fun today. This is actually be my second time flying, uh, but um, this makes it official now, saying that um, I don't have to uh, worry about uh, any exams. So anyway. Sit back and relax, and uh, we'll take off in a few minutes. All right, so we test out our uh fuel uh, pumps uh, there are five on each swing on each wing yep. we have our fuel here and no contaminants yep and one here one here so five all together so over underneath the wing here we've got the struts here making sure they're nice and tight not loosey goosey absolutely flip on the other side trailing edge of the wing is the same thing as my uh, instructor told me this is a slat slotted uh, slotted slotted uh, wing so I was able to go both underneath and through the wing absolutely I also want to take uh, a look at the looseness of that make sure it's not too loose you have your static port here yep, for the alternate static source yeah. antenna ELT antenna, emergency locator transponder antenna. Appenage here. We have a little crack here. That should be okay though. Yeah, that'll be fine. And uh, check this out here. Make sure that uh, static uh, grounding. Yep, binding strip, static grounding point. Absolutely. Check our rudder out here. Very good. By the way, these are elevators. This is your trim tab here in the elevator. Very good. And we'll look at the integrity as well of the VOR yeah. antennas. Which I need to help with, by the way. We'll work on it. <laughs> in fact, when we start the uh, aircraft up, I'll show you that we can point to that facility out there. You see the... Uh, well, I know, yeah, that's right there. It's 360 degrees. Exactly, kind of like a spokes on a wheel. It's called a. It's called a bearing radial. if you're going to it, and then the radial if you're going away. Absolutely, but uh, it's pretty irrelevant. Some people, you know, they call a bearing or they call a, a uh, radial still to it. It doesn't really matter too much. The radials are what spit out from it. All right. Very good. So on this side here, we're gonna go out and in. 
flap there, aileron down here. We'll check the outside of that later on. Very good. Everything's nice and tight. Checking the tires also. Nice and inflated. Absolutely. Rotors. Yep. Calipers. Also the strut. Looking good. Mm -hmm. Underneath the wing, we'll do uh, five of these here. Making sure there's no contaminants, no water. My memory serves me correctly. The weight of fuel is six pounds typically per gallon, absolutely. per gallon, and nine pounds for water. That's why water sinks. Yep, it's fuel. more dense, absolutely. I did one, two, three, four, five. Okay, safe measures here. So we look at the wing strut here. Everything seems solid. Very good. Now we go into the outer portion. The... Sure, or we could work our way on the outside. Still checking the piano hinges under, underneath. Okay, did I do that already? Not quite yet. You did the oh, okay. upper portion. Oh yeah, then... the down portion there. There we go, yep. Yeah. And then you can feel that for play. Yeah. Perfect. And there's only one on each, right? Correct. One push arm, push rod. Anyway, uh, trailing edge of the wing, you have your uh, static, uh, what do you call these, static? Uh, those are static wicks. Wicks. And they'll dissipate the static electricity buildup on the airfoil itself. We've already checked our lights. Yep, and the wing tip. Wing tip's looking good. Absolutely. And the uh, leading edge. Absolutely. Looking for any dents or anything abnormal. Well, what is this here? So it's going to be for the avionics cooling to allow air to come in. Okay, is that supposed to be open? Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> Check the oil. Nothing lower than five, nothing greater than eight. Six is a sweet spot. How long is this thing? <laughs> okay, uh, it's about uh, six and a half, actually almost seven. Very good. good. It looks nice and clean. Absolutely. Yeah, just like the car. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, also, you want to check the shimmy. Yep, the, the shimmy, shimmy dampener. Truck. Yep. We'll get there right as soon as we check, examine the fuel amount. So I'll have you step on up there, right hand on the, yep. Perfect. How do I check that? Do I shake so, it? Or? Here, let me, uh, I'll come on up after you're finished. We're just examining to see if there's enough I fuel. This in? Yeah, you'll, you can use the straining side to put the fuel back in. Very good. Right. Here, I'll have you take this for so, a second so I can you. examine the fuel. This is like a really dirty job. <laughs> like a mechanic here. Oh yeah, absolutely. So we're looking at. I see, just looking at it, huh? Yeah, we're just making sure there's no fuel. Uh, it was just a few inches from the top, so that'll indicate roughly the max for each tank is about uh, 20, let's see, it's a 56 gallon total, so we're looking at about 20 gallons that are going to be in there. Uh, on each wing? Or? Yep. Okay. And that'll give us plenty of time, four hours worth of flying time, okay, so cool. plenty of time. Very good, so. All right, okay. Yep, now we can come over here. So and now underneath. we check the shimmy dampener. Very good. And that enables you to you know, not have a crooked wheel when you're landing. Sure, yeah. And it keeps it nice and tight and straight. Mm -hmm. and we also down here, we check the uh, tires. Uh, everything looks good. Very good. And then there's three sumping points underneath here. Oh, you yeah. have one at the belly, one here, 
We don't need to drain the oil, I mean the gas here, do we? Sure, yeah. Oh, okay. Just at the lowest points to ensure the fuel line itself okay. is free of any contaminants. Nope, right underneath we see that empty hole. Uh, yeah, there you go. It takes a little bit of finessing in order to get it in. <laughs> to the right a little bit, down and to the right and back a little bit towards you. Here, let me see. Here, here. Way down here. Uh, okay. There we go. Yep, perfect. Okay, there so there's one there. Yep. And then there's gonna be two more. One right in the center where the okay. of the belly of the beast. Yeah. And then one right there. Yeah. Uh, and then where? Right in the belly. Right there. Oh, right there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> crawling on my knees. <laughs> get this, get a shot of me crawling <laughs> my knees here. Uh, What the second day, and you already had me crawling on, <laughs> on my hands and knees. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> you barely get up. Okay, all right. So, anyway, don't wear uh, new pants. I guess that's why you have black pants there. Yeah. All righty, so we're gonna check the propeller, absolutely. Make sure there are no uh, dings or dents, make sure they're not crooked. Mm -hmm. Good. Check in here and make sure there are no uh, birds. Birds nests. Birds nests. Yep. Or, or any, any abnormal debris in there. Yeah. I like to give the Squirrels. alternator belt yeah, right the here belt there. Nice. a little tug to ensure that it's secure. Very good. I like to give the, cow the nose cone a little tug to ensure that it's directly bolted to the engine itself. <laughs> That would be very important. Yes. Right. Nothing here. Uh, just another maintenance panel. They can get in and check the brake fluid itself and replenish right. that. Two twos. We didn't check on either side, but make sure there are no uh, bugs or anything inside the yeah, pitot tubes. Exactly. I'll check the other side here. There's only one. Correct. There's only one pitot tube. I'm used to the Boeings and the Airbuses I see. Where they have multiple, yeah. yep. Now, it's interesting, being that there's redundancy on these, supposedly, mm -hmm. what happens if this Peter tube dies? Well, if it gets or clogged, clogged, iced, or whatever the case may be, uh, you just don't get an indication for airspeed. Um, at that point, you just get out of the situation. In, in the case that it is icing, we have pedo ice. Yep. Or we have pedo heat, so then we would just turn that on. Okay. Uh, if for some reason, it's a one in a million chance that a bug gets clogged in there, then we would just have to rely on the sound of the aircraft. We would have to rely on other factors um, that would indicate anything for airspeed. Um, so just back, just back up flying itself. Get into VFR conditions if you are IMC. Right. Shall I climb up here? Yep. You see gas in there. I pour the remaining gas in here, siphon that in. Right. So, I think that's it. Yep, just one quick coming out. And then the aileron, and then we're going to be completely finished. Yep.